The whole world is a stage. Juventus qualified for the Champions League over Napoli. Its first win of the season is going to happen against Napoli again over at the Stadio San Paolo. September the 11th, 111 days left in the year. Juventus is founded on November the 1st, 11-1. Cristiano Ronaldo and Juventus. Juventus will defeat Napoli over at the Stadio uh, Diego Maradona. September the 11th of 2021. How much time is that the first win of the season to the date of the Champions League final? When I go back to September the 11th with the year 2022 for the Champions League final, I want you to notice something. 37 weeks after the first win of the season is when Juventus is going to be 3-7 and seven in the Champions League final. It is going to happen. Allegri is too much of 37. Torino Turin is too much of 37. La Hoya Di Bala has got too much of 37. Lionel Messi, born August, born June 24th of 1987. Lionel Messi is born on a 37 day. This is how you know Juventus are going to defeat PSG in the final with Delec and Bonucci and Kalini, the three headed beast, back in the back line with. Chiesa in Locatelli and they ball an altar in Rabio. You know what's interesting too? When Otto leaves Juve, he goes to Man U. It's one win in the first opening three matches before Juventus ultimately becomes the 13th Serie A team to win the Champions League this year. Juventus will defeat Milan in the snake Stefano Pioli. Pioli's going to defeat Lazio. He's going to defeat Mauricio Sarri, the banker. Banker, Jamacha 51. He's going to defeat Lazio, the team from Rome. Rome is Jamacha 51. You know what's interesting about Ronaldo's last match with Juventus nine months and six days before the Champions League final? The first match for Man U was against Wolves right after Ronaldo's signing was announced. The next match for Napoli is against Leicester. Leicester is too much of 96. Juventus is going to go a perfect 4-4 four for four before the match in the Champions League right after it defeats Sampdoria. Sampdoria is too much of 96. Juventus defeats Stefano Pioli, the snake. He enters with 51 matches before Juventus. His 41st match that he fails to win is going to have against Juventus, seeking its first championship title since the 41st European Cup. Pioli is born in the year 1965. 1965 is the year of the snake. This is why Juventus picks up its six points against the snake manager. Juventus is 1-1-1. One and one and one. There are 111 days left in the year from September the 11th. Juventus is founded on, you guessed it, 11-1, November the 1st. Juventus has three goals scored and, and three conceded as Juventus FC. Take a look at Ronaldo's matches. 134 matches with Juventus. Naples, Italy has too much of 134. It is manager Massimiliano that has too much of 53. In St. Petersburg, once again, you know how this is starting to get lined up? Because Juventus defeat Napoli, it defeats AC Milan. Juventus defeats Spezia, 3 for 3, 9 points for the year. September 22nd, 22 doesn't reduce its master number. This is 36 9 day in numerology. Picking up its ninth point against Spezia. And then Juventus defeats Sampdoria before the Champions League match against Chelsea. And it's number 9, Romeo Lukaku. Nine points since Ronaldo left. Since Ronaldo left before facing off against Romeo Lukaku. Number nine of Chelsea. This is the whole meaning of five matches in three wins before facing off against Chelsea because Chelsea is Jamachia 53. Same Jamachia as Massimiliano. Same Jamachia as St. Petersburg. Five matches in three wins. Don't forget Malmo, the Swedish club. Dejan Kulasevsky is your young Swedish 
winger for Juventus. He will score against Malmo, just like he scored against Atalanta in the Coppa Italia final. Started out as a loney with Atalanta. Scores against Atalanta in the final, and Dejan Kolosevsky is going to come in and do the business against Malmo. That's what's going to happen. Three for three before the Champions League opening match against Malmo against the Swedish club for Juventus. I, I, I don't know when Juventus is going to face off against Chelsea yet, but I want you to remember that this is the second of six matches Juventus ends the 26th year Champions League title spell. It's Chelsea that's too much in 26. It explains why it's happening in the second of six group stage matches as it ends the 26th year Champions League title spell. Now this is here. This is when it gets really, really, really good. Four for four. I like five for five. I like to win it to, to win five straight matches to pick up 15 points. Five for five since losing to Empoli. I believe it can happen because PSG is too much of 15. This is once again wins over Napoli. Milan, Spezia, Sampdoria, and Torino. 5-4-5 five, five before the match against Roma. This one is going to get really good. The reason why Juventus are facing... The reason why Mourinho is on Roma is because Mourinho got sacked and Chelsea won its last title before this past title in 2012. At the Stadio Olimpico was where Juventus last won the Champions League title. And Jose Mourinho last won the Champions League for Italy against Inter. And this is why Mourinho's on Roma. I think there's some symbolic meaning with the, with the elite cable who rig and really script these matches. As a matter of fact, I like Juventus to go 6-for-6 six six before the Inter Milan match. It has everything to do with the fact that there are 66 prior Champions Leagues, and that it's Crown, and it's Inter that has to match of 66, and it is Italian before the 67th Champions League. That's going to feature Juventus up against Inter Milan. Once again, the snake, number six in the Chinese Zodiac, the serpent, the snake, Inter! They robbed, and everyone was cheating during the couch of poor. They absolutely used the courts to absolutely make an easy target, Juventus. The, the recording companies were owned by Marathi. He owned all of them. The judge who handed the punishment was an Inter fan. Now you see Juventus in Inter, 24th day. 24th day because, once again, it is Russia. That is Gematria of 24. Let me type in Russia in the calculator quickly, by the way. Russia's Gematria of 24. 37 weeks after its opening win of the season, Juventus will win the final guarantee. Absolutely. The real question is what's going to happen in this match? You know... Juventus are not going to pick up all three points in that match, I think. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting because, uh, well, for one, uh, 24 is 6, and October 10 is 1, and 2021 20, is 5. So on a 12-day in numerology, Juventus is up against Inter. It's because th and that is the Derby de Italia. The next Italian winner is going to happen in the Champions League 12 years later. And so this is a preview. On a, on a 12 three day in numerology, Juventus have already failed to win two matches. I can see Inter picking up the result against Juventus as the home team over at the San Siro. I mean, three points at Milan? I mean, uh, hopefully, hopefully. Juventus are guaranteed to win all six league matches, and I honestly, I don't, I don't know if Juventus is gonna get the win at Chelsea right away. I can see Juventus getting the win over at London on the twenty third day. You know how ah, the Roman conquerors come back. Italy wins at Wembley. 
uh, Italy wins at Chelsea, you know, I I can, honestly, I can see uh, this game as the one that they, they win. Who knows? Who knows if you want those, make a statement early on against Chelsea in the UEFA Champions League. If you're kind of curious about the time duration, September 29th of 2021 to the date of the final one, one, one of these, one of these matches, they're gonna win. Now, th th this is 241 days. You know what's interesting about 241 is that the first win of the season is gonna occur over at the Stadio Diego Armando Maradona, the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium, Stadio in Italian. Stadio Diego Armando. Maradona is to match up 241. 241 days after the first win at the Napoli. Juventus face off against Chelsea. 241 days before the Champions League final. If, if this is the match of the first win against Chelsea, I can see Juventus defeating Chelsea. Chelsea was founded in the year of the snake, 1905. The key ingredient of the snake years at this would have been Ronaldo 6 championship title if he decided to stay with Juventus but he likes to quit on the club honestly no, no guarantee Juventus defeat Roma but I absolutely like it you see this you see this Juventus is 5-1-1 and one and one before facing off against Rome because Rome is to match up at the one Juventus can become 6-1, and one, you know, before facing off against Inter. Hopefully that's the case. But definitely 5-for-5 five five because Italy last won during the 55th edition of the Champions League final in 2010. Now this is going down really, really well. Guaranteed to win Malmo. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe 6-for-6. Six Six for six, it won't surprise me if you want those to feed Chelsea. But five for five. Five for five before the Chelsea match because the first Champions League is gonna be won since the fifty fifth Champions League final on a fifty five day numerology, I think it was. But this is a match that I can most, I can definitely see Juventus at 6-6 six and six against Chelsea. I mean, title is Dimaggi of 66. This is going to be pretty interesting to see what happens in the first match at home against Chelsea. I mean, uh, Juventus had the big win away, I remember, in the group stage. Uh, didn't pick up the points against Chelsea. But uh, let's take a look at Juventus and the Chelsea. And ahead, 11 by 11 is the... It's the good side. So Chelsea head to head against Juve. One team may win and, and one team may jump ahead. Now, uh, losing to Juventus uh, on 11-13, uh, that's 18-9 day numerology. The Juventus would pick up 9 points. So who knows? But February 25th, that's 11, that's 13, that's 22. That's 22 right there. That's 2 day uh, numerology. Honestly, this one can go either way, but I I can sort of see a two 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 sequence where the uh, whoever wins the first match is going to do so. Uh, whoever does not win the first match is going to win the second match. As far as home and away goes, maybe maybe Juventus get an opening statement at Turin. Hopefully that is the case. Let's check out the beginning of this season, August twenty second, to the time that Juventus faces off against Chelsea Football Club. 38 days, that's five weeks and three days. This is certainly the Dimaggio of Chelsea. Now, take it a whole step more. Do the date duration without including the end day to November the 23rd. What do we get? We get 93 days. We get, you know, Porto having Dimaggio of 93. I don't 
know, I, I'm tempted to say Juventus win at Turin and, you know, Chelsea win the the next match. So, uh, you know, let's see what happens there. But I, I, at the most, 5-for-5, five five, beating Valmo before the Chelsea match. Who knows what happens at Chelsea, but Juventus will go 6-for-6 six six before the match against Inter. And then hopefully this means that, uh, you know, that Juventus are back in the title race and that uh, the next loss can happen against Inter. But hopefully they get revenge against Jose Mourinho. At home, remember Mourinho, uh, he defeated Juventus with uh, Manchester United. Not just the corrupted Inter East guy, but he defeated, uh, you know, he defeated Juventus on November the 7th of 2018. So, how much time from that duration to uh, the, the, the first match against AS Roma? I mean, it's going to be pretty dicey, pretty significant. I think they want those fans to let Jose Mourinho know that they coming back for the business. And I like you want those to go two for two, two for two in the first two matches. Yep, yep. I like the I I gotta go with the home teams on this one. Who knows? Who knows if there's a draw or whatnot? But uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting to code. Um, three for three, a uh, winner takes care of the business. I mean, maybe Chelsea need, need it more than Juventus. Um, but, uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Maybe, oh my God, they're going to qualify for the group, and then Juventus get a big win over at London. So I can definitely see that, too. Okay, okay, let me go to, let me, uh, let me go to the league table. Let me just see when the match is against Roma. It is, uh, let's see here, against Roma in Mourinho, October the 17th. So let's get closer. Is Jose Mourinho going to defeat Juventus? I don't know about that. 35 months, champions. 14-day numerology. Are we going to see a draw against Roma? Hopefully not. We're going to do the business. Because here, here, here is why. In the league, before the rabbit, Jose Mourinho. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then five before Jose Mourinho. This is going to get really good. 